All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Zero with some more Dark Souls 3. So in the last episode, we took down the Dancer. It was a tremendous battle, but we were able to complete it, so we're going to move on now. Um, there's a lot of different ways we could go. I haven't really decided what I want to do first or what I want to do, so I think what I'm going to do is move into the castle, at least hit the first bonfire or two in this episode, and then maybe we will sidetrack over... Uh, and kill the consumed king before we move on through the rest of the castle because we have like dragon armor and we have the prince this way i believe we have the other uh man i think we have a few bosses in this direction okay so right here these knights super super tough and the cleric is basically an asshole so can this guy see me I think he can see me. That's something to consider. Okay, no, he can't see me. A lot of good souls and chunks in this area, so... Keep your eye out. I think all of these knights actually drop large chunks, and we will be able to play that game later and find out if that is the truth. Okay, so first bonfire in Lothric Castle. Just keep with this mystical mysticism going on here. Okay, so we could drop down from this bonfire to run back. Um, not exactly sure why you would do that. There's a mana up. Let's check these guys out and see how much damage they do. a decent amount of damage, but I swear they drop a chunk. Yeah, a large chunk. Now if we fight them again, we get it. God, we could just farm large chunks here. Alright, I'll do it one more time, but this is definitely a good farming spot for you guys. I mean, you can literally just punk this thing out over and over and over again. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is going to be the place we go. What do we got now on the large chunks? Okay, we had three, now we got six. Six is what we needed to upgrade, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and farm these large chunks for a while. That sounds like a good idea. Let's see what we got over here. Is this a mimic? No. Oh, that's a pretty sweet looking set. Let's go in here and check it out for a second. I hear some action going on outside. Alright, so basically, all in all, it is worse than what I got on. Uh, was it this one? It almost looks. It looks like the hex set. It looks like the hex set from Dark Souls 2. That looks pretty sweet, actually. A dark, a dark coster with the embers. It actually looks pretty cool. Oh well, it doesn't really make a difference right now. This is that chunk? All right. So these guys we seen early on, but they're way harder. Now. See what we can do with the old sword. Okay. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, luckily you should be doing some more damage now as well. So there's a lot of large Titanite around here to grab. I believe there's a fatty in here if we... Yeah, we'll go up though. his game not want to come out. Can't blame him for that one. We're going to spam him instead up here. Can't get mad at a guy for, for not wanting to die. He's got some wicked weapons though. Okay. Those sweet weapons and another large. Twinkling. So just a ton of good stuff. That's all I'm saying. Much more this way. We're just going to keep on going until we get to that bonfire, which is right over here. Alright, there is a dude up in the top. I don't know if he... There's a knight right up there. I don't know if he respawns or not. We could check him out. Crazy, man. Pick up a lance right there. And, oh, man, we got, like, all his good stuff. I don't think I can use the lance, but it is pretty sweet. Yes, and that. Can't use anything, basically. But his spear, too, as well. So. Not too bad. Uh, now we got some wicked dragons. We're going to be shooting fire down. There's a couple things that we could do. Let's go ahead and regroup here. Go we'll collect a couple more chunks. And Titanite shards. It's possible we might be able to run right past these guys. Oh, okay. No, you can't target them. Yes. I 
can't hurt you. Alright, well, what we're gonna do is just pretend that we don't see him. Chunks and chunks galore. Oh, come on. I think there's some baddies up here, but we're gone. With a little bit of invisible. Oh, and we missed it. Alright, we'll have to go back around. No big deal. Let's try this again. Oh, now there's two dragons. Okay. He must have heard him going crazy. Okay, that is a way to go, but that is not the way we are going to go. Uh, we're going to finish this out. Doing what we... Go, two twinklings. Everybody loves their twinkle limbs. Just get a bunch of shit from him. Oh, there's a crossbow down there. Okay, no reason to get a crossbow on this build. No reason to risk our selves. Okay, so not a bad haul. I actually think I'm gonna head back and see what we can do with this. And we'll probably move on to get the Moonlight Greatsword next. I know I keep saying that. I just there's there's so many options. 
I also want you guys to know that I plan on playing different builds when the, when the Western version comes out on Tuesday. Now, seeing as how we're a little behind schedule on this one, I don't know if I'm going to start another build and do it simultaneously as we finish the Sorcerer run, or ah, well, if we stick with the Sorcerer run and finish that. I, I don't know the best way to do it. Um can upgrade the sword. We should also be able to upgrade the staff. And what I'm going to do is go and farm some more of these so that we can just upgrade both uh, continuously. So I will do that off camera. Uh, for right now, let's just upgrade the staff again. And as you can see, now we can go to plus seven with our chunks. Very nice. Very nice. And all I need is one more chunk and we'll be able to take it up to plus eight. So the staff is going to be. So be our breadwinner. I'll do the same with that fire sword now. And obviously, you can see that they were dropping quite a bit in there. So there's a lot of options you have. Don't feel that you're stuck with one option in this area. If you have multiple weapons you want to upgrade, I don't see that being an issue. Uh, there we go, plus nine on our Estus as well. So underneath the bridge for the Undead Bone Shard, and I believe we'll get one more level out of this remaining souls, uh, which will put us at 40 int. So there we go. Alright guys, level 60, 40 int. Uh, level 7 weapon. I think we can just farm the rest of those chunks and uh, and get this staff up all the way. That would be nice. Uh, and then we will do that. So when we get back, we will continue on into the castle, or we will move on to the, the optional boss. I have not decided which one we're going to do yet. It's very likely we're going to continue on through the castle, at least for the short time being. So uh, thank you guys for being here. This is Zero. I'm out.